Anybody in here? So this house really looked like it was abandoned and it was a big eyesore for the neighborhood on the side of the road. So we stopped to check it out. Hey guys, I'm Justin with the Blessing Boys and me and my sons go and we transform yards for free in our community. On this particular yard, we ended up clearing out a lot of sticks and even a pretty large tree working our way to the back of the home where the grass had gotten pretty tall and grown up. But we noticed that the side door was completely open to the outside and we don't usually do this, but I actually went inside to show you guys what this house looks like and get a good idea of what we regularly see with these abandoned homes. It's pretty interesting, so hang around to the end to see that, plus the complete before and after photos of this transformation. Hey, we always appreciate your support and taking the journey with us on these yards. Couldn't do it without you, but let's go ahead and get right into this yard. So if you guys have seen in previous videos, I love my little trusty battery powered chainsaw. Uh, 140C, just a little guy, not really made for big stuff, but I'm gonna kind of put it to the test right now. I've already kind of cut into this tree behind me a little bit. It's a little thicker than I've ever done. And we're gonna see what it's got. But the chain that I'm using is, it's old, it needs to be replaced. So uh, don't be too hard on it, but we're gonna try to get this tree down and uh and see what it's got see if we need to get one of the bigger ones i don't know you guys let me know <laughs> took a little bit of extra push like i said chain chain's not too sharp but it took it down is this a big, how are we, uh, one question how are we gonna move this i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to cut it into smaller pieces it's kind of can we put it over there that's gonna yeah. be a long yeah and if you guys can see behind me um it's a bunch of big piles of trash the uh trash is kind of dry rotted and stuff like that so there's no way we'll be able to pick it up so we're just going to kind of keep it consolidated to the individual piles that it's in so we'll clean up the yard real nice like we usually do it'll look really good um, but we're going to leave the trash piles where they are um, because there it's just you can't even pick it up it just turns into mush so let's chop up this tree and uh get back into this yard
guessing we caught that on camera. I about flipped off the machine. We popped a wheelie. That's what's tough about this tall grass is you don't know what's hiding underneath it. One, there's a uh, cinder block. Two, right before I hit the cinder block, I hit a mound. I don't know if it was an ant mound or something like that, but it was a big old mound of dirt and I about flipped off that thing. Let me show it to you. Of dirt. I'm gonna have to be super careful um, riding through this backyard. guys it's training time so 
like it or not, we're a family that does this and I've got to train the boys to start using some of the equipment. So I'm gonna give Judah some time on the stand up mower. So here we go. <laughs> All right, not too bad, not too bad. I kept on getting mixed up with this, so I kept on putting this for it. Yeah, so I kept on it's tricky. It. What do you think for your first time on it camera? It's hard. <laughs> yeah, I promise you. Give him some time, and he'll have it. He'll have it uh, figured out. It takes a lot of muscle memory and getting used to those My handles. Hands awesome, guys. So we just got a little bit left. I'm gonna clean up on this side, and then we'll show you some before and after pictures. Came out really good. Looks really clean, and I'm excited to uh, reveal the end of this property with you guys. See you in a minute. Normally we don't do this, but I'm gonna show you guys this house. I'm gonna go in here and see. The doors are wide open. I know it's abandoned. I, I, I don't see anybody in here, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. Anybody in here? Spider web, oh crap. Big spider webs everywhere. Oh, bring my hair. Nasty. This house did not feel stable. Yeah, just trash everywhere. Spider webs hanging down from the ceiling. Wow. Just close. Actually, the uh. I'm not going to go too far in because the ceilings are caving in everywhere. But as you can see, it's fully abandoned. Whoever was here left uh, most of their stuff. There's still dishes in the sink. <laughs> but this is wild, guys. This is this is some of the stuff we come across. I know you guys ask all the time. You're like, why are there so many abandoned homes? Like they could be used. And I know you're right. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys got some ideas of how we can partner with people that would be really cool um, to get some of these places taken care of it's such a shame that a lot of these homes they just get abandoned and neglected and um, and they never get used which is unfortunate unfortunate because there's a lot of people that could actually use them that don't have homes like this so um, I don't know appreciate you guys watching and uh, just excited to continue to make an impact in our community and and you know wherever wherever this uh this channel takes us and hopefully we can begin to partner with other people to make more of an impact and more of a lasting impact on some of these homes and people and communities all right we're all finished with this yard and we just want to let you guys know how much we appreciate you watching all the way through the end of our videos i wanted to say something real quick give you a little nugget of truth reward you guys who hung in with us through this one um, you know i know a lot of people come in to watch our videos to see the yards and the transformations and things like that but that's not the only thing that our channel is about our channel is really about two things um, it's about going in and impacting our community in a practical way that we can help them reach them and, uh, and, and, and just be a blessing to them. But number two, this channel began, this may be what sets us apart from other channels, um, as a way for me to practically teach my boys uh, how to go out consistently 
and serve others and be a part of something that has a bigger purpose. And I heard this today, and this is the nugget of wisdom I wanna share with you guys. I think we need to stop telling people what we're gonna do and we need to begin showing them what we did. And in order to show them what we did, that means we have to actually walk the talk. Does that make sense? And so I know my boys, I don't have a, a long time with them. Time flies, as you can see. I remember when he was a baby and now he's 15, now he's driving in a car <laughs> and you know, has a couple more years in the home. And I thought what better way than to document our journey of us coming out, being consistent every single week and showing up. And so I thought that would be cool for you guys. A lot of you, uh, maybe you guys need that encouragement. Um, things don't have to happen. Boom, just like that. But if you just take the practical steps to actually do what you promised to do and consistently continue to do that, you're gonna see results in your life. You're gonna see impact in your life. And by the grace of God, um, he'll begin to use you in ways that you never, ever imagine. So with that being said, let's get into these before and after pictures. Um, we will be here again next week consistently. You can count on us. Come on back and watch another video and we will be here. But we love you guys and we appreciate you. Anything to say? Howdy. Hope you like the video. <laughs> Hope you like the video. See you guys.